I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Can you believe what you're hearing on the news today? Or more important, importantly, are you being fooled by what you're hearing on the news? <laughs> ah, because all of you so-called truthers, quote-unquote, out there, are being fooled. You're being deceived in every way imaginable. Now, uh, what I'm referring to, of course, you would probably know by the title of this video, uh, Edward Snowden. <clears throat> now, apparent, apparently, Russia granted Edward Snowden, the so-called whistleblower, um, temporary asylum. Now, I want to say, this whole case is ridiculous. And I've been calling that ever since it came out. Okay, let's take out a little um history and see what's been going on. Okay. Well, one every any idiot can figure out that the United States government and the NSA was spying on every citizen in the world and you know other foreign countries and stuff anyone could figure that out the Snowden whistleblower thing was going on too um well the point is the NSA case it's been going on and, and it all of a sudden just pops up on the news alright why do you think that is and you really have to wonder if anyone if anyone gets that amount of attention from the mainstream media and the television, you have to question their intentions. All right? You have to question why the media is telling us what it's telling us. If you're in the so-called truth movement, then question, or if you're just any person, but question why they're telling us this. If Snowden, if Edward Snowden was really a threat to, to the United States government, what do you think would happen to him? He would be killed. And many of you will sit there and say, well, yeah, but that's why he fled, and now he's, uh, well, he was in a Russian airport, but all that stuff. Yeah? You really believe that? <laughs> ah, it's just, it's funny. Why do you think the media would, um, talk about him, give him this much exposure, giving what he's exposing this much exposure? Why? 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 Think about it. Who controls the media? Who controls the government? Same people, right? Why would they, why would the government expose something about themselves? That's what you really need to question right now. Okay, and this is why, this is exactly why the Edward Snowden case has happened. And it has got so much exposure. And I'll tell you right now, this is why. Because... <clears throat> America has been enemy number one against the Illuminati. All right? We have been the biggest adversary of the Illuminati ever since our founding. We've been the biggest adversary. Although a lot of people don't understand things about our founding, but that's another story.
but we have been, and we're only proving it now that we have been the biggest adversary, and that makes America enemy number one against the Illuminati. All right. Now this, you may wonder. And even if you're from another country, you may wonder, too, because this is a propaganda that's been foisted upon you. All right? They, America is enemy number one. They're trying to get all the nations of the world to hate America. They infiltrate our government, yes. They control our government, yes. But that does not mean they control the people. If you live in another country, you probably think all the problems in the world are being caused by America and its military. Which is a lie. Our government has been infiltrated and subverted. So it's not, it's not, no, it's not the, uh, it's not the United States' fault. Yes, our criminal government is doing horrible things, and a lot of people here are trying to stop it. And that's why we're an enemy number one. We, here's an example. <clears throat> After Sandy Hook, right, they tried to take the guns. They tried to push gun control. After that, this is one example. In Utah, every county sheriff, sheriff and every sheriff in Utah said, that if the federal government tries to go on an offensive and take the guns from the people, we will not hesitate to protect the people and protect their rights. And we will not hesitate to fight against the you know, federal officers. That's what Utah, every sheriff in Utah said. Other people, or other sheriffs throughout the country also said this. There's militias in this country on standby. The militias here are not attacking the government. Where they're waiting, they're waiting for the government to make the move. So then, if when they make the move, the militias are right there. They're ready. And when the government makes the move, they, the government, will be the one on the offensive, not the people. And the militias and the local police will have the support of the people if it's the federal government making the offensive. And they cannot take the guns because of that reason. The police, the local police aren't going along with it. And we have militias on standby in this country. Very well armed, well regulated militias. That will not allow the government to take the freedoms away from the American people. Plain and simple. And then you see the Snowden case coming out. And the Snowden case was to get all nations of the world to hate on the United States. Like I said, this Snowden case was going on forever. It's been going on. That Everyone knew. Everyone knew the NSA was spying on people through PRISM. Everyone knew that. They've been doing it for decades. And decades. And if you're a fool... And you think that that information is just coming out? Do some research into history. And you really have to ask, why is he appearing on the television? Why is he getting this much coverage? Huh? They are. He came out right now, or, or um, um, no, a couple months ago. That story came out because to get the nations to hate the United States. Because of the nations and the presidents of those countries see the United States as spying on them. And they also saw how the United States invaded Iraq and killed millions of civilians and Afghanistan and the other nations that we invaded. And countries and people around the world are sick of it. And I don't blame them. But my point is that they're trying to get the nations and the people in those nations to hate on the United States because they cannot take our liberties and they cannot destroy the Constitution. And see, they may have the Patriot Act, they have, may have the NDAA and all the other laws that basically rip up the Bill of Rights, 
But if they cannot take the guns, if they cannot take our guns, then it doesn't matter what other freedoms they take away, because we can protect our freedoms and our rights if we have guns and if we can defend ourselves. And in this country, we have 75 guns per, per 100 citizens. That's basically unprecedented. Only other time that happened was in Europe, when it was 80 guns per 100 citizens, and that was after World War II, and the guns were illegal, also. Um, I guess in most countries. So, yeah. And guns were illegal. But guns are legal here. You can get them on any, on any street. And we have 70 guns, 75 guns per 100 citizens. Now, why is that a threat? Yeah. If we have the guns, they can't take our freedoms. If they can't take our freedoms, Illuminati can't control this nation, no matter how much they have infiltrated every level of our society, and they have. But if they can't take the freedoms and the guns away, then it doesn't matter what they do. I want to reign in the government. But my point is, it doesn't matter what they do. If we have the guns. They cannot lock down this country like Nazi Germany if the people have guns. If you, you, did you, do you think if the Jews during the Holocaust had guns, 75 guns per 100 Jews, that they would have been rounded up as easily as they were? Not at all. That's why we're a threat. They can't destroy our evangelism, they can't destroy our guns, can't destroy our rights. So that's why Snowden came out. If he if he gets people around the world to hate the United States and the world already does hate the US government, that is. <clears throat> if they do, I mean well people already saw what the US is doing overseas in the Middle East. And my, people don't like it. I don't like it. Alright? Now, when the Snowden case comes out, that gets people even more mad. And it's exactly what the United States wants. No, I mean, it's exactly what the Illuminati wants. My bad. When they get people to hate the United States, because the United States is the... Basically, right now, the only country that has not fallen to the power of the Illuminati. There's a few others, sure. But the United States is basically the biggest adversary of them. And the American people are the biggest danger to them. And it's important you understand that. America isn't lost. It's lost if you think it's lost. Get to understand that. They haven't destroyed this country. They're destroying it. And if they succeed in the Snowden case, Snowden will get people to hate the United States. Then a United Nations force will come and invade the United States. See, I'm not worried that I'm going to die by the hand of the government. Although I will fight a criminal government. But I'm worried more of a United Nations force coming to our soil and that kind of thing happening. Understand? Russia, China, France, Japan, United Kingdom, Germany, and almost every other single nation on this planet is controlled by the same people who have infiltrated the United States government. Get to understand that. Putin is the biggest puppet of this new world order. He's more of a puppet than Obama. If you don't understand that, you're being deceived. And you're helping to destroy this country, whether you think you're fighting the government or not. And let me give you some history. <clears throat> this is what a lot of you probably don't know. During the Civil War, the North, Abraham Lincoln, made a treaty with Russia. He made a treaty with Russia because during the Civil War, who supported the South? France and England. 
England supported them heavily. And it was even so, so much to the case that France and England were um, talking and they were planning to invade the United States during the Civil War in support of the South. All right. Now, if you understand that, you will really understand what's happening now. Although, now, Russia's controlled by the same people America is controlled. And America is also controlled. So it changes the, changes the situation. But the point is, during that time, Russia told Britain and the United States, if you invade the United... Er, they told Britain and France, if you invade the United States, we will not hesitate to invade across continental Europe and invade you. That's what Russia said. Of course, the Bolshevik revolutions happened in Russia in 1917, and it's no atheist communism, and ever since, Russia has been controlled by the Illuminati. So, what's happening now will only lead to Russia invading us. And if you continue to attack the United States, that's just doing what they want. Yes, I will expose my government, but I'm telling you, if you live in another country, expose your government. Because your government is also doing crimes. And your government is also controlled by the same people the United States government is controlled by. And trust me, there is a lot of people, we are a large group by now, there is a lot of people who are working to stop our criminal government in the United States. But this Snowden case is not how to do that. Everyone knew the NSA was spying on people. They only brung it out because they can get it to the majority of people who really weren't paying attention before. And that way they can persuade them, convince them, and eventually it will lead to a full-scale invasion on the United States of America. And that is the fate that we're leading. Yes, they would like to... Okay. What happened in Nazi Germany? We all know Nazi Germany. What happened? Well, the same people who funded Hitler to power, put Hitler in power, destroyed the country of Germany. The same people who did that, yeah, ended up being the same people who opposed Hitler. Who controlled Britain? Illuminati. Who controlled Germany? Nazi Germany? Illuminati. The proof is there. And I can't go on with this video forever, although I would like to give you the proof. But their proof is there. And what happened in World War II? All the nations of the world joined together to fight the Nazis. And what came out of World War II? The United Nations, of course. So, let's go review. Powers up B, people controlling our world, funded Hitler to power. Yeah. Then, they destroyed the country of Germany, locked it down in a fascist, socialist dictatorship. Then, got the other nations that they control, and also were working to destroy, and got them to invade Nazi Germany. Got them to unite to destroy Nazi Germany. Now, what do you think will happen now? People will join up together to take down the big bad Nazis, the United States, and Israel. That's what will happen. And the new world order will be burnt, will be, the new world order will be born out of the ashes of that war. Get that through your thick skull. It's not all about the United States and their imperialism. It goes way beyond that, in, in fact. And until you people around the world get that through your head, you will be deceived and manipulated. The Illuminati controls 
both sides of every war, oh, almost every war, and when they don't, you can tell. They certainly don't control both sides of the truth movement, but they control the truth movement, and don't don't forget that. Well, this has been a long video, but think about what I said, and don't and stop listening to people like Alex Jones, who just don't really tell you anything. The Snowden case is going is just another attempt to attack the United States and to bring about a one-world socialist totalitarian government. The proof is there. Do not be deceived.